In last video, we successfully run a binary uh, combined for ARM architecture on our Ubuntu uh, Intel 64 uh, machine. In this video, we take things a step farther by learning how to use a GDB, the GNU debugger, to debug binaries running uh, in uh, Chemos. First, let's make sure we have a GDB and specifically here a GDB multi-architecture installed in our machine, of course, because we want to debug for ARM architecture in this case. Uh, as you can see here, uh, I have both of them already installed on my machine. However, if you want to follow along, this is the command to, uh, to install it. And before we delve into the debugging process, I want to introduce uh, some um, plugins for GDB that enhance the uh, user interface and make your uh, debugging experience uh, smoother. Uh, when we go to this uh, GitHub repository here, we want to install these uh, three uh, plugins, uh, bound, dbg, gif, and uh, pida. It's uh, really simple. You can see the uh, installation instruction here. So you just need to uh, copy, uh, uh, get clone, this uh, binary i think i already uh, have it uh, here on my machine so yeah and uh, inside the gdb you will see the uh, installation script uh, so all you need to do is to run this installation script and everything will be uh, set up on your machine this will take a uh, few minutes but yeah everything will be uh, fine okay now i want to show you the difference between using a standard a GDB session and a GDB when using one of these uh, binary. So let's start first with uh, a standard uh, GDB session. Uh, I run GDB uh, dash Q hello. Uh, this is the standard uh, GDB session. I could uh, break at main and then for example, let's run the program and let's take X5 instruction uh, from the current instruction uh, pointer. That's what uh, you see uh, in uh, standard uh, GDB session. Let's compare it with uh, GDB with one of these uh, plugin. So I will quit uh, this uh, session and I will run uh, GDB with uh, now let's try uh, bound DBG. Okay, the same command uh, with dash Q and uh, hello here. So let's uh, see, I will make it a little uh, bigger here. So we already see that here loaded 169 uh, bound DGB command. And again, I let's do the same break at main and then I run uh, the program and let's take five uh, instruction from the current instruction uh, pointer. So you already have noticed the difference. So this is the instruction. However, we have another window here. This is a pack trace. We have also window for the uh, stack. So here you can see uh, whatever now uh, is on the stack. Uh, you can see here the dis disassembled code. And as well here, you can see the uh, registers. So I have the stack uh, pointer register, the instruction pointer register, the base uh, pointer register. So that's give you uh, more information about your current uh, debugging uh, session. Okay, so let's uh, quit uh, this uh, session and let's see what we need to do in order to uh, use uh, GDB with uh, Chemo. We need uh, two terminals. In the first terminal, we run uh, our binary in uh, ARM uh, Chemo, but we will make um, a Chemo wait for a debugger. So let's start, uh, for example, by using the dynamically uh, linked uh, binary. And uh, as you uh, can see here, the command is the same. The only difference uh, is that I'm using dash G1234. What uh, this does is, it's open a GDB uh, server that is listening on uh, this port, which allow us to connect to this uh, session. So once I uh, hit enter, now everything is ready here. Uh, our GDB uh, server is listening on uh, localhost 1234. Uh, now let's go to the second terminal. And the second uh, terminal, I will uh, use this command because um, 
uh, I need to do some configuration. So I'm using GDB, the multi-architecture. Then here I will use uh, the GIF plugin. So that's why I initialize it here and I'm specifying the architecture and ARM and all uh, the other stuff. So now I am inside GDB, but with uh, a give, um, uh, give plugins. So now I need to connect this uh, uh, GIF uh, session to our GDB uh, server running here. So to do that, I will uh, uh, start this command here. So uh, GIF remote and then a chemo user and the chemo binary here, the path to our uh, binary and then localhost 1234. Once I hit enter, as you can see here now, this session is connected to the GDB uh, server. The first thing I want to do is uh, I will load the uh, symbols here. As you can see now, it's loaded and then I can like break at main and uh, let's uh, continue and you see uh, my debugging uh, session start. Uh, this is symbol. You can see here, now this is the disassembled code. However, I can see also the uh, source code. Uh, the reason for that is, uh, if you remember in the previous video, when we compiled, we used a dash G. So we added more information to the binary and that's the main reason why now I can see the disassembled code and also I uh, can see the, uh, the source uh, code as well. Uh, if you want, we can do the uh, same also for uh, the other plugins because now we did this for a GIF. Uh, let's do that for bound uh, DBG. I need to start the GDB server again here. And the initialization is a little bit uh, different when we want to start uh, uh, bound DG, uh, DBG. So here, as you can see now, again, I'm using uh, GDB multi arc. However, here I'm executing the source where I have my bound uh, DBG initialization and the rest uh, is the same. Once I hit enter, uh, it uh, takes me inside a GDB with a bound a DBG is uh, enabled. Uh, again, uh, let's uh, run file so we can load uh, the uh, binaries and we need to uh, connect now our uh, bound dbg session to the gdb server so this is a target remote uh, localhost and one two three four and as you can see now i am uh, connected so i can break uh, main and then uh, continue uh, again you see now uh, i am inside the uh, uh, the debugging session and again here uh, you can see the source code so exactly the same as uh, gif but it's a different flavor everyone prefer different uh, plugins um, me myself i usually use uh, bound uh, debug or dbg so uh, this is for uh, this video we learned how to use uh, gdb to debug binaries running uh, in, in chemo. So thank you for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.